Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Dr. Rowena Winkler. And first of all, apologies if I sound a bit congested. My daughter brought home the daycare crud as her 17 month gift birthday gift to me. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the flow here. Um, first of all, just wanted to let you know that if you have any questions or any comments throughout, feel free to use the Q and A. Raise your hand. Uh, we definitely want this to be as conversational as possible. Um, and then in addition to that, if you are so moved to stay the entire time, we have some more goodies. Um, if you're feeling the vibe and are intrigued by the work that Melissa and I, I do here. So as you may know, if you're here uh, tonight, we have the new moon in Leo. The new moon officially graced us with its presence at 9.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in general, new moons are a good time to set intentions, to have a fresh start, to have new beginnings. And with this new moon in Leo in particular, as you see, Leo is the lion. And Leo is this fiery energy. It's all about confidence. It's all about self-love, filling yourself, having that creativity, having the, the motivation, the drive, the energy to, to be creative and to manifest those desires. And so with this new moon, with this new moon in Leo, we are being invited, we are being called to be like the lion and to have the courage to do what our soul is telling us and to really dig deep and have that intention. And despite what others may think, despite what the conventions are, despite what the expectations are of other people, this energy really moves us to, to move forward and to go toward that, that, that sole purpose. And um, this morning I drew a goddess card. So this is the goddess power, whoop, whoop the Goddess Power Oracle deck um, by Colette Baron reed And I felt that this card represented this beautiful energy. And the card here is Isis, which is rebirth. And the energy of this card is essentially let go of any blame. And that includes self-blame, right? Let go of any blame, claim accountability, and feel moved to co-create with the universe something that is better, something that can push you to your edges and go beyond your wildest dreams because you are so deserving of something better. You are deserving of a magnificent, wondrous, fiery, beautiful life. And I just wanted to encourage you and invite you that you can do this. You know, I know for myself, and I'm sure Melissa has gone through this as well. There are times where we're feeling stuck or we're feeling small because we are fearful or doubtful of taking the leap of making it to that next level, that next higher state of consciousness. But I'm telling you friends to ride that energy because this is the time. We are in a pivotal transformation time. We are in this shift collectively. And so move with that energy and go there. And why this new moon in particular is even more powerful is because this is what we call the Lion's Gate portal. And what does that mean? This portal is activated because the rising of Sirius, which is a star, is in conjunction with this Leo sun. We're in Leo season. So even more so than per usual, this is a wonderful time of rebirth, a time to manifest and to draw in abundance and, and to, as I mentioned, activate and rise to that higher state of consciousness because the portal's open, friends, and we have the ability and the, the energy and the wherewithal to, to do that. And because this particular new moon and Lionsgate portal is on August 8th, eight, eight. This is super potent and powerful because eight in numerology, it represents transformation. It represents power, ambition, influence. So even 
again, it's just these layers upon layers upon layers. Use the new moon, use the, the energy of Leo season and use this very special, very uh, um, um, abundant Lionsgate portal because that is just, that is just the, a way to activate and, and, and manifest your desires and dreams and whatever you plan to co-create in this world. And in particular, this, this, uh, this number, this numerology 8-8, eight, eight, it is tied to the divine feminine. And so I'm going to, to pass it off to, to my colleague, my friend, Melissa, to talk more about this feminine energy and what this means and what brought us to this seduction of the soul concept. Thanks, Rowena. Yes, and just to acknowledge, thanks for everyone again for being here. I know we have some people on other continents that's, I think, the middle of the night. And so um, thank you so much for tuning in as well. So like Rowena was saying, this time of the new moon is something that we can really hone, harness and hone our energies and align with. And in doing so, it allows us to really be able to dive deeper in inward, number one. And number two, it allows us to look at those sides to ourselves, which we know are there, but for whatever reason, sometimes we aren't acknowledging. Because, for example, we're really busy. We have a lot on our plate. Uh, we're busy moms. We're entrepreneurs. We're networking. We are doing all of these amazing things. And sometimes it can be really hard to step back for a second and remember, I am woman or I am man. And at the end of the day, we all have both energies inside of us, right? So if we're a woman, we also have masculine energy. If we're a man, you have feminine energy. And that's to balance and what align us. So if one part of that is out of alignment or our mental state is out of alignment or these various things are not quite going in the path that they should, it creates that imbalance. And what the moon and these cycles of the moon and the moon energy and mother nature even teaches us is there's balance and there's harmony. There's ebbs and there's flows, right? For every season, there is an occasion. And just as sure as the world is changing, uh, we're always changing as well. The thing we can always be sure about is, is change. And if we don't change and we're not evolving, then we're staying in that stuck space. And so when we're able to tap into this moon energy and we look back at this veil of where has our energy and our focus been going and where can we harness and bring it back in? And one of the first ways that we can do that is to say, OK, yes, feminine. What does it mean to actually embrace your feminine energy? And that's a word that can be put around, you know, in a lot of in a lot of ways, in a lot of uh, spaces and things. But, you know, even before we started getting on this call today, I was like, let's just look up the definition for a second and be fun. And, you know, really, it's like all it says is like womanly qualities, essentially, you know, and a bunch of other words that seem like feminine. And so it's like, if you think about it, if you even look the word up to see where to start, that's kind of even just a thing to say, be more womanly. And if you've kind of lost that womanly or sensual or seductive mysterious type of vibe that is very carnal it's very um a part of our human nature that we all need to be happy healthy surviving successful individuals in this thing that we're calling life so at the end of the day if we are constantly pushing away that feminine energy we're essentially telling the universe uh, along with ourselves, that's not an important side of myself anymore. Because what we don't focus on or put the intention towards, right, we don't, we, we aren't going to get it back. If we're putting the attention and the focus, like Rowena said, on abundance and rebirth and this powerful uh, energy of the moon and how it can bring us self-confidence and reassurance and, and all these amazing aspects to ourselves. But if we're not focused on that, it's like driving, you know, down the highway and you're looking at where you're going because you're the driver and, and you have the GPS in front of you. But as the passenger, you know, we're able to like take in the scenery, you know, and be like, oh, you know, did you just see that, you know, cool building that we passed or this thing over here? And the driver sometimes like, no, 
I'm just getting us there safely in one piece as per the GPS told us. And so it's that the perception and the intention of where do we want to go and where, what other ways can we get there in a creative way that is actually helping us and bringing us more fulfillment, more satisfaction, recharging our batteries and, and, and putting, putting us in a charged state that we're able to go out there and vibrate on our highest level and then attract those things that Rowena was saying, abundance, help, vitality, new connections, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. So along those lines, when Rowena and I had been having these conversations, we started saying, what's a way that as feminine energy that we can start to really find creative ways to start to honor that? And I use that word honor for a reason. And that's because, again, we are neglecting this part of ourselves most all the time because we're trying to be strong, trying to be hardcore. We're trying to be, a, um, you know, like strong and confident. And sometimes that can, you know, mold us and shape us more so into not as pretty and feminine and, and sensual and seductive as we can be. So one of the most powerful ways to, to start to rebuild this mindset for yourself of let me be okay with embracing this side of myself, because if I do, that'll make me happier. That'll make me more fulfilled. That'll lead to more creativity, passion, you name it. And then when we are those things and we exude that and we're just our truest, authentic selves, that radiates back to other people. And we attract those person, people, situations that we're supposed to attract that lead us further down this path in, in life. So the, the quickest way to do that is to create rituals. And rituals don't have to be like some huge, you know, Greek festival from the middle or dark ages, right? Where the whole, you know, like town shut down and people came and they had debauchery for days and they were just running around with masks and other identities and stuff. You know, you don't have to go that far. You know, that's maybe something for those that read my book. But, you know, anyway, like it's you, you don't have to go like extreme, right? With everything, there's a starting and an end point. And because you're in control of everything, you can decide how far you want to take that. So we say, start it simple. When you keep things simple, it gives you the power to um, overcome and, and check that off the list and then build it into part of your routine. Because what we want this to be is not like a one and done kind of idea. You don't just want to create some nice rituals with us during this uh, webinar. And, and, you know, if you take us up on our offer later, you know, to extend this journey further on, you don't just want to do it for the sake of like, okay, I'm doing this cool thing, but you want to actually honor yourself and make a commitment to yourself to say, I'm going to make this part of my calendar. I'm going to stick with it just as much as getting my water intake every day, hugging my spouse, you know, um, exercising, whatever your daily activities are. So this idea of a self-care ritual or even a personal ritual or a couple's ritual, there's many different avenues you can take. And this idea really is that you want to create something that is really just for yourself. And the sole purpose is you want to recharge, you want to reinvigorate yourself, and you just want to have that time, no matter what you decide your ritual is, to have it where you're not being disturbed and you're not thinking of focusing on anyone or anything else. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, if you're just constantly pouring from your cup all the time, to help everyone and help everyone and, you know, be there for your family, be there for your, if you're a owner of a business, entrepreneur, be there for your business. If you're an employee or a corporate person, be there for your, you know, your job. But if you don't look within and say, hey, just like our phones need charging every single day and we freak out if we cannot find an outlet, right? We don't take that seriously for our own self, right? So treat your self-care as much of a priority as being out in the world and not having a charger on you and you're like at 5%. Like it's, it's your self-care is more important than a charge on your phone. But yet we are constantly like, eh, later, 
that's selfish or other people do that or maybe someday no we are giving you permission and if you need permission we're giving it to you but you don't need it from us of course right you decide for yourself but if you need that extra little accountability or that thing to be like hey Rowena and Melissa said it's fine go for it I'll talk to anyone who needs to be talked to later if it's a problem but I guarantee you when you come refreshed and and renew with that purpose about you know how you feel good about yourself and what it brings to you other people will be able to respond to that and they'll feel that you know like you won't go in there snarky and grumpy and like hangry even though you just ate <laughs> you know kind of thing where you're just empty inside. So the idea of the ritual, again, is to put yourself first and put it in a way that makes sense to you. And we um, took this idea, again, to mind when we connected with um, the moon, seduction, and rituals. And we said, what kind of thing can we put together that will help others to feel inspired and to really get into this idea because nothing is more powerful again than the than the universe and its energy and then when you feel confident you feel seductive and you feel this um alignment with the universe as well you can take on everything in your world so that's where we started to create this idea of the seduction of the soul uh course and really it's a way that you can dive deeper into this concept and as a means to really embrace, as we said, your own sensual side, this luminous side to yourself, so you feel more empowered, more self-confident, you know, more um, ready to seize your life, because those little things that you do for yourself every day, they compound. And when you don't do them, they compound as well. So it's really at the at the end of the day, do you want to compound in the positives, you know, or do you want to just compound and go through the same old, same old? So we said, let's just take it with the seduction of the soul idea and let us tune into the universe to create our very most powerful, seductive self and align really within that. And so Rowena is going to go into a bit more about um, the idea within the course itself. Uh, and we have a few special offers with you as well. And so she'll dive into that and what we have a little bit more as far as like module ideas and fun things like that as well. Yeah, thanks, Melissa. Before I get into that, though, I just wanted to uh, piggyback off of what you said, right? So, you know, we felt that tonight on the new moon in Leo was the perfect time, the perfect energy to, to drop this offering for you and release it to the world because, you know, seduction essentially is persuasion. Seduction is confidence. And what can, what is even more beautiful than to do it with this Leo energy, which essentially is embodiment of confidence, of self-love, of self-care, of, of this seduction of the soul. And Aisha Ophelia says that ritual is the soul's language, that we engage in ritual to stir up this energy for the soul. And so we hope that this offering can, can allow you and encourage you and invite you to do that. Because again, as Melissa said, it doesn't have to be you know, this whole big thing, it's, it's doing these baby steps every single day to get to even closer and closer to, to your most embodied, beautiful divine self. And so before we talk about that, I just wanted to see if there were any questions about any of this, about the new moon, about Leo, about Lionsgate, about ritual. We talked about a whole lot in, in this first, um, you know, less than a half an hour, I guess, 25 minutes or so. Um, you know, we're happy to to answer any questions folks may have. And if not, you know, I can share with you uh, a link that you're more than welcome to also share with your friends. We've created this 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 download, this this free downloadable, which is going to help you with this new moon energy. So it's a series of of questions for journaling. So, you can do it tonight and just FYI, even though the new moon was today, the new moon's energy will carry over for the next three to four days. So, you know, Jennifer, I know you were asking for the recording. So if you wanted to 
you know, take a look at it, reflect on it, um, you know, share it with, with friends. You're, you're more, we're more than, you know, that that's, that's totally cool because it's not tonight is the night and that <laughs> it's over. So I'm just going to drop that, that link into here. And it also, as Melissa mentioned, gives suggestions for recommended activities. Cause especially if you're new to this, new, new to this idea of ritual, especially in accordance with the moon phases, it may be a bit daunting. It may be like, what is this? It may be like, what is this woo woo ness? And it doesn't have to be that at all. You know, I'm looking right now, I'm lighting a candle, right? You know, it's it's engaging in a card pull as I did. It's journaling as we're gonna share with these these questions with you that can be prompts, right? And it's just a way to reflect and dig deep so that when you move forward with with this this energetic uh, force of nature, especially with this lion's gate. It's just gonna, I think it's just gonna propel you and help move you forward. So here is the link for the new moon in Leo. And before we move on to talking about the, the other things, are there any questions or any comments? I just wanna make room and space for that while I take a sip of water, because clearly I'm, my congestion sounds awful. I usually sound a lot better than this, y'all. I'm a singer too. So like, it's no bueno. <laughs> I think you think it sounds fine. You know how we're more mindful yeah. of And we talk about that too, right? <laughs> that we're our worst critics. <laughs> sounds seductive to me. <laughs> As does it sound seductive? Hello, That's new moon and Leo. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, if there are no questions, let me just share my screen so we can give you a, a glimpse at what we have going on here. And again, this isn't like questions are closed forever. <laughs> if anything comes up and you're so moved, please feel free to uh, to ask away. Can y'all see that okay? Slide it down a little bit maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down as as we go through each step. So this is this is the the soul seduction process. This is essentially the framework for for the course uh, for the offering that Melissa and I had developed. So we started, and here we are. <laughs> here we are in the new moon. It is that knowing. It's that understanding. It is that setting. It's setting those intentions, and then we start getting into the practice of it. It is looking into the the brain and how the brain operates and how we can engage in practices to use the, the chemicals and the, you know, our, what our body creates to help us move forward to this embodiment where we step into our goddess activation energy. We step into that higher self person that you know you can be. And then once we have a sense of what that looks like through vision boarding, through journaling, et cetera, et cetera, we then affirm it through these affirmations. So every morning I engage in a daily affirmation practice where I say, I am strong. I am perfectly imperfect. I am a goddess. I am capable of doing hard things, right? So that's in alignment with the gibbous moon, then the full moon, which um, a lot of people have talked about in the past, full moons are shown as completion. It's a release of energy. So it's a time of celebration. It's a time of release. It's a time of letting go. And then we move into receiving. So we've let go of what doesn't serve us. And then we're going to receive what you know what uh, we're letting in because we are in this embodiment. We then share in community. That's when we find our tribe. That's when we find our people, you know, like Melissa and I found each other. And then the balsamic moon is that period of restoration, right? It's like the ocean waves. It's the, it's the ebb and flow, like Melissa had talked about. It's uh, this, this really is that self-care piece. And then we go into the new cycle because as, as I'm sure you're aware with anything, this is all spiralic. We're not going at this linear pace. We're always 
constantly changing and flowing and improving and and getting closer and closer to that that embodiment that that soul purpose that that higher consciousness self so essentially this this process is the foundation of the course it's 10 weeks where we go step by step into this and give give activities practices encouragement <laughs> to get you in alignment with these mood phases so that you can reach you know hot, get closer and closer to that to that self that we talked about so we are very excited you know this is really this has been such a labor of love um and again we felt that in alignment with the with the new moon energy with this creation with this confidence with this fire fiery nature of of this we wanted to to share it with all of you and um for our friends who have been here with us and um have and are interested you will be able to to get it for 50 percent off which is very exciting um melissa is there anything you want to add to that oh you're on mute yeah my neighborhood is uh notorious for the urban sound so <laughs> muting is good but no i think um yeah, the labor of love, I definitely agree with. It's something that with our combined um, backgrounds and experiences, we really wanted to put something together that will impact you in a way that, again, it's doable. There's action steps along the way. We'll be there with you along the way as we put these lessons out on a weekly basis. And we're here to really support you because that's the the thing at the end of the day if you um take the inspired action and are consistently doing these different practices your life will be changing you know and you just sometimes don't even realize it until maybe you you know uh rekindle that romance with your partner or perhaps you're just more patient standing in line somewhere you know if there's someone slow in front of you because you've learned to meditate or get mindful as we talk about through these things. So we really did want to take it on that journey for you so that you can find something that works for you and use it to your advantage. So definitely feel free to utilize it for yourself and um, share obviously that we have it out here for your friends that you think could obviously be inspired by this concept. And Melissa, what what is the special code, right? Isn't there a code that they should use to to get the yeah? So when you um, yeah, so to get your uh, discounted rate, you'll um, when you go to the checkout that um, Rowena puts the link in for, you'll type in Lions Gate Eight, no capital letters, and all one word together, and that should give you the. Um, 50% off version. And if that's something that still is not in your comfort zone for whatever reason, that's fine. We do have an option to do a two payment plan for the regular price of the course. So if you need to break it into two, a two parter, that's fine. It's slightly more, uh, um, I think it comes out to $100 more, I think at the end of the day, but if it helps you, that's totally fine. We wanted to put that out there as an option. So whatever makes the most sense, but if you're here and it speaks to you, take advantage of that. You'll also get the download bonus as well. So it's a win-win for everyone. All I do is win-win, no matter what. That's definitely <laughs> <laughs> Leo vibes, right? Take this vibe and run with it. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's that's all that's all that that's all folks, right? Is there anything else that, that you can think of, Melissa, before we we bid you adieu and wish you a, a beautiful and abundant and courageous Leo New Moon? I think I'll just leave it with the idea that when you think about 
all the things that you are putting your resources, time and energy into on a daily basis, is it serving you at your highest level? And if there's things that aren't serving you at your highest level, I can attest to the fact that what we will bring to you in this um, course is that we are serving you at the highest level, at the highest vibration from a, a place of heart, inspiration and creativity. And we are encouraging you to stay on a path that keeps you at that vibration as well, because we've seen in our own life that the the more we associate with those like-minded folks that are in our tribe, that are engaging in the types of activities and mindsets that we are, then we're only going to help bring each other up along the way. So if you want to bring yourself to another level in a way that's supporting you from the mind and the body and the soul, then you definitely want to take advantage because few things I think are out there where you're getting that, that connection between the two. And that's really, if you're not, again, all the way charged and ready to go, you're just not going to be able to be the best you can be out in the world. So we would just really want to help you to be the best that you can be because we know how powerful that has been in our own personal transformation stories. And again, for me personally, when you're able to hone in on that seductive energy, again, we we're talking about that persuasion idea. Seduction is all about persuasion. The Leo moon is changing. So that's persuading mother nature's into something else. So again, Take it, run with it, play with it, look at things in a new light and really harness this power and use it for um, the rest of this year to take full advantage of everything the universe is offering to you. Well said, well said. Well, I will drop my email address here if you wanna do the same, Melissa. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And in the meantime, I will just play us our, our, uh, our walk off music I guess. <laughs> and um yeah have a beautiful evening a wonderful new moon and uh enjoy the rest of your week thank you so much thanks for joining us everybody Good question.